Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so it's been a little while since I posted a video. Um, been a crazy summer so far. I've just been really busy, and um, you know I'm uh, living on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, instead of uh, near Boston. So just a lot of things happening, moving around, and so um, I have a little studio set up here for now, um, which I'm trying to do. You know make do with with what I can but anyway um, I got a request to do a video about how to sing in flagellae and for a long time I thought my flagellae was my whistle voice um, and I thought there wasn't really a difference between the two and now I'm kind of thinking well maybe there is a difference between flagellae and whistle voice and falsetto um, so we're gonna we're gonna ex dive into falsetto versus flagellae here and how to get into flagellae um so basically uh when we sing in falsetto um we're basically using so if you think of your vocal cords like this uh, we're pretty much using the inner edges to sing in falsetto so so we're kind of <laughs> we're kind of using just the inner edges there so it's not not a full um here where our vocal cords on this note would be phonating together and we'd be striking you know using our diaphragm to strike the air directly on our uh vocal cords right so when we're in falsetto you can hear there's a little air that comes through so our, our vocal cords are not fully together and phonating and we're kind of just using the edges for falsetto anyway so basically and as we get into mixed voice the more phonation we have and the more uh, the thicker part of the vocal cords we are using now as we go up in registers um, from you know chest voice to falsetto obviously in falsetto we're using a thinner part of our vocal cords so down here hey, we're using a thicker part hey, of our vocal cords as opposed to here hey, just like on a stringed instrument like guitar violin whatever the higher you go up the thinner um, string you're using right so it's the same same concept now once we keep going up in falsetto here B, this is a B flat 4 still falsetto now I've said this like a million times but just so everyone knows out there there is no difference between head voice and falsetto some people say falsetto is really weak and head voice is strong so some people would say this is falsetto and this is head voice no there's there's no difference I'm just not letting as much air pass through my vocal cords and I have more resonance right it's not a different voicing anyway moving on going up to B4 Eventually, as we keep going up, C5, C sharp, D, E flat, E5. Eventually, once we start getting up here, we're, we have to kind of widen the vowel, right? We have to increase our, our pressure on our diaphragm and we kind of have to widen the vowel to get up to these notes in full falsetto, right? G5. Right? So after a while, it to me, it sounds not extremely pretty compared to when you're using flagellate. So how do we use flagellate and what is it? Well, it's basically... It's basically almost the same thing as falsetto. We're just using a thinner part of our vo vocal cords, just as I was talking about from chest voice to falsetto. And how do we do it? Well, basically, I just, I had a lot of, tra I trained myself to do a lot of falsetto exercises, and after a while, I kind of just 
experimented and found this other thinner whistly sound which i thought was whistle voice which i now believe is my flagellate um so it really just takes some experimentation to find how to create this production vocal production and then actually use it in a musical sense if that makes sense so if we're on c c5 here if we're doing full falsetto Now, if we try to go from full falsetto and make it really quiet, there's a few way there's a few ways to get into flagellate, which is what uh, what I'm trying to explain. So, if we try to do a full falsetto here on C5 and then thin it out into being really quiet at the end, like this, actually just heard a little pop there where I I was kind of transitioning. So what I'm doing here is I'm transitioning from falsetto to flagellate. Kind of like if you're belting, you're kind of thinning from a, a chesty sound to a, you know, a thin, bright, masky sound into, you know, a big note or something. Same concept. And you might hear this in, you know, pop music, whatever kind of music you hear, where we have a big falsetto note. So technically you can trail off into this note and still be in falsetto or you can transition into a flagellate kind of production. You can do both. falsetto the whole time anyway I know this might be a little confusing but the point is it's a thinner production and when you get into flagellate you can have much more vibrato because you're using a much thinner part of your vocal cords so if I'm way up at E5 I can still have vibrato be having a full falsetto but if I were to do it in a flagellate much thinner I w could have way more vibrato because it's a thinner production, right? Okay, so <laughs> how do we do this? Well, I, to be honest, it just takes it takes a bunch of experimentation. So try try to find a note that you're really confident in that's comfortable for you in falsetto, like. I'm starting on C5. Now try to do this in a very thin production, almost like a puppy would cry, like. Now I'm not doing, right? <laughs> right, that's full, full falsetto. Flagellate to falsetto. Also can help. It can also help to try to get into flagellate if you actually use a really closed vowel. So here is an E falsetto, right? Now try to make it even more of a closed E. Kind of like a whimper, right? I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but we're just trying to get into it, right? Or ooh. Trying to make it a really closed ooh. 
and then mess around with how closed the vowel is and where you're placing it. So once you find once you find this flagellate, you can you can lean it, you know, just like you would a falsetto, kind of centered in the head. That's falsetto. Flagellate. You can lean it in your mask if you want. That's flagellate in the mask. You can even lean it a little in your chest. Now, if you lean flagellate into your chest almost, it almost becomes like a blended falsetto, right? So if I were to do this in full falsetto, it takes some effort to sustain that. Now, if I do it in flagellate into chest, trying to make it, you know, more rounded. So you can really play around with it quite a lot. And as we go up, you can make it, you can place it wherever you want. Now you can start to really hear the difference here because this is G5. If I were to do this full falsetto, I'd have to use a lot of air, right? As opposed to, I can do it pretty quietly without much effort at all. G sharp. Usually around C6 right there is where I want to transition into a more whistle tone. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped you try, kind of understand how to get into flagellate. If you have any questions or, you know, anything that you're not sure of, just let me know and I can try to help explain it better. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if this helped you in any way.